Welcome to Taos, New Mexico and Wilder Nightingale Fine Art. I'm Robert Wilder Nightingale, the owner of the gallery. I welcome you to come visit us online when you're not in Taos at www.wnightingale.com. Over 35 of my artists live here in Taos and if you'd like to meet them, just give me a call ahead of time and I can schedule to have them here in the gallery to meet with you and discuss their work. We're located at 119 Kit Carson Road, one block west of the historic Taos Plaza. Um, I moved to Taos from Chicago 21 years ago after studying art at Columbia College and thought I'd just come out to uh, New Mexico and I fell in love with Taos and the art and the culture and the light. We just celebrated our 20th anniversary this last uh, October. I'm very proud to represent over 35 uh, Taos artists, which is a great accomplishment. When people come in the gallery, um, they're just amazed at the variety that I have. Um, I like to have something for everyone, and I want everyone to enjoy the art. So, um, and again, with my art background, I, I can respect and understand the different styles. So I show and feature artists that I like, that I would have in my collection, and hopefully others would have in their collections. Representing over 35 Taos artists, it's hard to uh, pick your favorites, because um, they're all my favorites. But I'll, I'll touch base on a few of them, um, like Tom Noble, who won the Governor's Award, New Mexico Governor's Award in 2010 for excellence in the arts. Hi, my name is Tom Noble. I grew up, I've been here all my life, basically. Uh, I'm a watercolor painter. I've been doing that for 40 years at this point. Uh, currently, I show with the Rob Nightingale uh, Gallery in Taos in 71 during the, you know, the anti-war and all that. I got involved and I was already making a way more out of a gallery in Taos back in like 68 and 69 and 70 then I could make working a 40 hour week in Albuquerque I'd go home and paint three or four hours at night and I'd made more money in those three or four hours than I did working. So in 71 I moved up here and became a full-time artist. Everybody tells me it sort of gives them a feeling of happiness somehow. I don't know what it is. It's sort of a light-heartedness about the whole thing, you know? and light colors. In a way, they're sort of cartoony. They're like paintings of cartoons or cartoons of paintings or something like that, okay? It's sort of a, and also I use quill pen and ink line and all of them. So it is sort of like illumination, you know. It's a very old art form, drawing with a quill pen and then watercoloring. Well, the one who, there's a guy, Ole Shavonen, Right now he's having a show at the Harwood, his later words. But back in the 50s, he taught a group that was, well, he had a sketch group that met every week, and it was part of the, the Taos Art Association, the Stables Gallery. And this group of artists were the ones that uh, came here after World War II, and there were two art schools that, uh, that were, where ex-GIs could get GI bill money to go to school. So it was a magnet. It brought all kinds of artists into this area in the 40s and 50s, right after World War II. And those are the people I grew up around and studied with. And most of them were modern. But then I went back to the old thing, and, and Victor Higgins is the person I suppose I most admire and have copied from here and there along the way, but nothing really direct so you could tell where it came from. It's just certain little things. You know. Well, last year I received the Governor's Award for Excellence in the Arts in Santa Fe, along with Robert Redford and Wes Doobie, and this, uh, I don't know, there was eight of us in all, but it was pretty cool. Rory Wagner, he won the 2006 New Mexico Governor's Award Excellence for the Arts. Um, unfortunately, Rory passed away a year ago, and I have an excellent collection of his work, actually. He is um, known for his intense, detail-oriented Native American portraits. Kemper Coley. And Kemper Coley is energetic. His work is a lot of movement. He gets out there in the field every day and um, captures, captures what he sees. 
All right, the, uh, the beauty of New Mexico and its changing seasons is what inspires me. I try to be a metaphysical cocktail of the youngest, most expressive child and um, the finest old master. I try to get the perfect balance um, and I try to use my scene as a springboard, really, to paint freshness and immediacy. And I like the image to pull you into the paint instead of the customary paint pull you into the image. Even when I'm in the studio, I try to remember the feeling and the experience of the scene and paint from that. So I'm not using any photo references or anything like that. Russian Impressionists have influenced uh, my style the most. I like the fact that uh, they don't use a whole lot of lines and have lots of uh, lost and found and broken edges. So. Uh, I never like lines much or right angles or smooth surfaces, so. But I've kind of just really developed my own. I've come up with my own thing. I've, I try to look at the common thread that runs through all of the arts. One of them is unpredictability. If, it, if you watch a movie, you don't want to know the ending at the beginning of the movie, so. I really don't like to have predictable paint application. Thank you.